Yeah, so we've been going through, obviously we, we do a lot of te- uh, screening for um, for EIB. So we go and test um, sort of groups of athletes that maybe um, some of these athletes haven't haven't got any respiratory symptoms, don't report any respiratory symptoms. But then when we actually do, do the assessments, um, we pick up some, some that are high. Um, now, sometimes it, they have a high pheno, not always because of its of asthma-related conditions. So there have been instances where we've tested groups of uh, athletes and we've had phenos of almost up to 200 parts per billion. Um, but then they've given us a negative uh, bronchoprovocation challenge when, we, when we've um, kind of tested them. And actually, when we kind of get, delve a little bit deeper, these, these athletes actually have some form of allergy. Um, and sometimes they don't necessarily realise it and things. So actually that's actually supported them in a different way. And we've actually been able to investigate kind of uh, kind of look, looking at what allergies they, they may, be, may, may, may have. Um, but we've also done it with athletes that maybe kind of walk in uh, and again, not, don't report any symptoms um, and they, they kind of give us a high pheno. And then when we do the EBH challenge, it's, it's a positive um, challenge. So their, their lung function drops um, uh, more than 10% in terms of how much air they can breathe out in one second. Now, a lot of the time when we talk to those individuals after we've had the positive test and we ask them, well, you know, do you feel a bit tight chest after training and things? And, and they, they basically come back and say, well, I do a bit, but I just thought that was what happens when, when, when you know, when, when you train hard. Um, so it happens quite frequently where we might t- and assess what, it, what kind of you would say is an asymptomatic person. But actually, when you delve a little bit deep and you ask, actually ask them sp- specific questions about, do they feel tight chested after training? Do they produce a little bit of excess mucus, um, after, you know, kind of maybe an hour or two after training? Uh, and those types of questions, or do they get frequent um, kind of chest infections or, or, or coughs and colds and things? And, you know, it's not the same problem in each person, but a lot of the time when you actually kind of start delving a little bit deeper, all these kind of things do come out, but it's just obviously the norm for the athlete. So they just don't report it. And so therefore, they appear asymptomatic, but actually there are symptoms there. They just don't recognise there's any problem. There's any problem having those symptoms.